Nissan has freshened its Maxima sedan for 2019 and given it a fresh starting price of $34,845 for the base S trim level, a $530 price increase over the 2018 Maxima base model. The other trim levels get similar increases. All prices include an $895 destination charge. The 2019 model, unveiled recently at the 2018 Los Angeles Auto Show, has gotten a light refresh of the exterior styling and interior that aims to be classier as well as sporty, along with some new feature choices and safety technology. Even with the higher pricing, the 2019 Maxima undercuts the base price of its strongest rival among mainstream brand full-size sedans, the 2019 Toyota Avalon, which starts at $36,420. The 2019 Maxima offers S, SV and SL trim levels, as well as the sportier appearance SR version and a top-of-the-line platinum model. Two options packages will be available, the SR will offer a premium package featuring a dual-panel panoramic moonroof, a 360-degree camera system, and advanced safety and driver assistance tech. And the Platinum will offer a reserve package with special design 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels and a fancier leather interior. Starting prices for the other trim levels are $36,855 for the SV, a $540. $39,335 for the SL, up $600. $40,425 for the SR, up $850. And $42,335 for the Platinum, up $350. The Senior Premium Package adds $1,820, and the Platinum Reserve Package adds $1,140. The 2019 Maxima gets a more pronounced grille, new front and rear bumpers, new headlights with an LED array and a stronger version of the Boomerang LED daytime running lights. The interior gets materials and trim upgrades on each level. An 8-inch touchscreen is standard, and it includes navigation on all but the base model. Standard safety tech includes a front collision system with automatic braking and, new for 2019, a driver alertness warning and a rear door alert to check the back seat for forgotten children or things. Optional on the SR and standard on the Platinum is a new bundle of safety and driver assist tech Nissan Call Safety Shield 360. It includes automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot warning and rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, automatic high beams and rear automatic braking. The sole powertrain is a 300-horsepower, 3.5-liter V6 with a continuously variable automatic transmission and front-wheel drive. The new Subaru Forester has been criticized for its conservative styling changes outside and critics say the small SUV doesn't have enough power. But Forester is proving critics wrong and is getting many accolades and recognition as it makes its way around the globe. The new 2019 Forester SUV is launching in Australia and Russia and the awards are already pouring in. Maybe it's because there aren't as many small SUV choices in those markets, but even in the US, Forrester recently picked up the Best Car to Buy 2019 award from Car Connection. In Australia, Subaru's new fifth-generation 2019 Forrester has just made its dealer launch in Australia and wins not one, but two awards down under. Last week Forrester picked up the Best Small SUV 2018 Inches Award from Drive.com beating the Volkswagen Tiguan 132TSI 4 Motion, Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Exceed and Skoda Karoq 110TSI. Also in Australia, the new Forrester was compared with four small SUVs in the November edition of Wheels magazine. In this competition, the editors picked Forester 2.5S over the Volkswagen Tiguan Comfort Line, Mazda CX-5 Touring, and Ford Escape Street Line to rate 8 tenths in the comparison. 
Will says, the tall ceiling, deep glass house, narrow pillars, low dash and lofty, sumptuous seating collude to make the Subaru seem cavernous, airy and inviting. So, it's the Folsom Forester that elevates itself above all with sheer effortlessness. It simply rises above the trees of normal SUVs. In Russia, the all-new 2019 Forester also made its launch in Russia and picks up another prestigious award. In the country's largest annual automotive research ratings of the Auto of the Year 2018, voting took place in four segments, modern, family, reliable cars and workhorses. The 2019 Subaru Forester was recognized as number one in the nomination Modern Cars. Also, the crossover entered the top three among the family and reliable categories. Ratings of the Auto of the Year 2018 is a regular study of the preferences of Russian motorists, which is part of the bigger project, Car of the Year in Russia. The cars are not divided into familiar classes, but according to their purpose and key properties that are important to consumers. The results of the study serve as a guide for consumers when choosing a car. Subaru's Forester has virtues active consumers are looking for like its standard all-wheel drive system, excellent outward visibility, a boxer engine that sits lower in the chassis for improved driving dynamics, and safety is a core value that the brand values highly. It's what sets the small Japanese automaker apart, and could be why the new 2019 Forester SUV is proving its critics wrong and picking up so many global awards. Sometimes, a vehicle will enter a new model year without any updates, and it's usually most common the year following a car's debut. That doesn't stop it from costing a bit more than it did before, though. Nissan has released information on the 2019 Kicks, which has no major or minor updates, since it launched during the 2018 model year. A base Kicks S will set you back $18,540. $550 more than the 2018 model. The destination charge for all cars is also up $20, from $975 to $995. Standard equipment on the Kicks S includes automatic emergency braking, automatic headlights, a 7-inch infotainment touchscreen, keyless entry and three USB ports. The middle trim in the Kicks lineup is the SV, which now costs $20,250, a $560 bump over last year. Here, standard equipment grows to include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, automatic climate control, satellite radio and a digital speedometer. At the top is the $20,870 Kicks SR, which is $580 more expensive than last year. It's also the best equipped model, sporting LED headlights, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, special seat fabric and a surround view camera system. An optional premium package adds leatherette seating surfaces, heated front seats and a Bose audio system with 8 speakers. The driver train is the same across every trim of kicks. Its 1.6-liter naturally aspirated i4 puts out 122 horsepower and 114 pound-feet of torque. That's sent to the front wheels by way of a standard continuously variable transmission. Buyers can choose between seven different exterior paint colors, as well as five different two-tone get-ups. Urban adventurers who use their small SUV for weekend getaways, often don't have enough cargo room for all their gear. Subaru Corporation says they've addressed these issues in the all-new 2019 Forester that arrived earlier this fall. Many might want to use their small SUV like a pickup truck because it can carry so much cargo. 
we've heard of some Forester owners using their all-wheel drive vehicle to haul up to 100 boxes for their small business, firewood, furniture, bicycles, Christmas trees, and even use their small SUV as a camper and sleep inside for weekend getaways. When you need to carry extra cargo, you'll need as much room in the back as possible for your gear and cargo. The 2019 Subaru Forester comes with 35.4 cubic feet of cargo carrying room behind the rear seats which is tops among small SUVs. The load floor sits flatter, and the cargo area's squared off shape has been further optimized in the 2019 model for ease of carrying large objects. Subaru Forester has long been known for its go-anywhere attitude, and many owners use their SUV to go on camping, hiking, and mountain biking excursions. Because the fifth-generation Forester rides on the new Subaru Global Platform, the architecture increases total cargo volume to 76.1 cubic feet with the 60-40 split rear seat backs lowered, a gain of 1.4 cubic feet over the outgoing model. Forester now offers a power rear gate allowing opening and closing when your hands are occupied, and now opens, closes, and locks the entire vehicle with the touch of a button. Another Forester improvement increased the maximum width for the rear gate opening to 51.2 inches wide, a 5.3 inch increase over the outgoing model, and the new Forester rear lift gate is up to 8 inch wider than on some competitive SUVs. This makes it easier to carry some crazy cargo. John Gorham, one of senior Torque News journalists, tell how he uses his 2016 Forester that, one of my favorite things about my Forester is that it is practical. It can haul long items with one seat dropped, haul bulky items in the rear cargo area and it is tough enough that if you throw a load of firewood in back it isn't going break anything. Even better. Under the cargo floor is even more space and of course the compact spare. The Forester is comfortable and sophisticated on the highway, but it is always ready to go to work when called upon. Subaru Corporation increased the all-new 5th generation 2019 Forester's interior cabin room, improves ingress-egress, and brings added versatility for active families. Tell me about some of the crazy things you've carried in your Subaru or small SUV.